Hi Fresno, this is Janine Klein and today I have with me Stephanie Woodward with Simply Steph and she has quit her job after a lot of years in the corporate world and decided to get into Forex trading and there's this whole world of of training and learning and I don't know a lot about it so I'm gonna let <laughs> Stephanie explain it all. Yeah, so um, back in March, I decided to take a um, severance package from a company that I worked for for 15 years. And I had a chance to stop and reflect and think about the things that I wanted to do. And I had um, a little bit of time and a little bit of, um, of a means to try something that I wanted to do and kind of think outside of the box. So I started um, just researching different ways to bring in income. Um, I thought about opening an Amazon store. I thought about building a business from um, the ground up. And it just felt so overwhelming that um, I didn't want to commit to anything that big and I needed the risk to be um, small because I was, you know, trying something new and trying to figure out a new way of life. And I, um, you know, through my research, I found Forex trading, which is um, trading Forex or foreign exchange currencies in the Forex market. And um, so I started asking around some people that I talked to and everybody knew about it and they were all talking about how great it was. So I just did a quick Google search and um, this really pretty young lady showed up and her tagline was something like um, how I made 25 K in one month. And so I clicked on her link and I watched her video and I was um, super engaged. I was, I felt her vibe. I felt like it was really cool. So I started looking up her, um, her, she's got a membership, like an academy that she does to teach you how to Forex trade. So I did that and I signed up for her, um, for her uh, membership and became a member of Lavish Life Academy. And um, I learned how to trade in the Forex market and um, it was something that I fell in love with. But what I realized was that it's um, still overwhelming. It's hard to implement something new into your life. And, um, you know, it's hard to learn a new skill. So I then started thinking that I wanted to document that transition and um, document wins, losses, um, you know, how to add it into your life, how to even create an account and things like that. So. Um, yeah, I started Forex trading. Um, you have to find a broker, you have to, you know, start with a certain amount of money, but, um, you know, if you can learn the trade and you can learn how to analyze the market and the structure, you can, um, you know, make quite a bit of money. And, um, and Stephanie is a mom, has three children I do. and a husband, mm -hmm. and she recently went to school and, and got certified to get, uh, graduate to get, be able to trade right no so I actually um, I was I've been in college for a while and I that was a goal of mine is to finish my college degree so I um, just on Monday submitted my last assignment and I'll be getting my um, my bachelor's degree in technical management in about 8 to 12 weeks so that was a huge milestone for me and um, technical management is really um, about project management for me I'm really good at organization I'm really good at creating processes and procedures so um, I started doing so that's what I went to school for and trading kind of falls in line with that just because I'm good with numbers I'm good with charts I'm good with analyzing things so um, my goal is to have multiple sources of income I think it's important for everybody to have multiple sources of income and to not rely on one thing and so um, I'm trying to you know trade that's one source of income um, and then I'm going to try to freelance my um, my uh, skills with organizing, um, creating processes and things like that. So that'll be a second um, form of income. And then um, I'm working on getting my um, notary public license. So And so there's five sources of wealth or income coming mm -hmm. in. And your the academy that you went to, it's a life Lavish Life Academy. Lavish Life yes. Academy. And, yes. and on their Instagram they have different mantras mm -hmm. that talk about how to go about your day life to maybe save X amount over a year yes. or a thought process or to read, you know, read books mm -hmm. or read 20 pages a day. Yeah. And so this has become a new habit. Yeah, it's like a challenge. So you challenge yourself to do something different outside of the box. So um, for me, I'm investing in Bitcoin $5 a day. 
um, for 21 days and Bitcoin just hit a monumental number. It just went over 20K. Um, so each Bitcoin is worth 20K and just earlier this month it was worth 17. So within a matter of a month, it's gone up like $3,000. So, um, so that's one thing. And then um, saving money. So I'm going to be saving money every day and I'm going to invest that money in stocks for my kids. So, you know, if it's an $8 stock and I can buy, you know, each kid 10, then, you know, um, by the time they're my age, they will have something big. So, um, yeah, that's the challenge. And you're right. It's to create a new habit and to save and to think about, you know, what you're doing and where you're spending your money. Um, i I bought Bitcoin um, earlier this month. I put in $90 and I had $96 by the next day. And I was like, wow, that's a cup of coffee. That's, you know, like if I were to take that $6 out, I still haven't lost any money. So. And then if um, there is risk, though, involved, mm -hmm. it can fluctuate yes, and it can. then drop down. It's like gambling in a way, but not gambling. It's, I, that's how I see it. I think that it's easy to assume that it's like gambling because it does fluctuate, but that's where you make your money. So, um, you know, when I trade, I try to trade at either the bottom of um, the trend or at the top of the trend so that I don't have too much money that I'm risking. Um, so if I get into a trade, I try to, um, you can move your limits. So once I'm in profit, I move my limit up to that so I can't lose any money once I'm in profit. Sometimes I only make $7, but I didn't lose any money. So if I'm not losing, I'm winning. Um, and sometimes I make $200. Sometimes I, you know, I can make $150 in two minutes. Um, it just depends on, you know, what you're trading, but it is a skill you have to learn. Um, you could, I mean, you're going to lose some trades. So you want to put multiple trades in so that you can cover up the ones that you're losing. And you really want to know what you're doing. It's a skill that you have to learn. Lavish Life Academy taught me everything I know about trading. And um, I think that it's something that anybody can do. Like, you don't need to do this all day. You just need, like, 20 minutes. Like, I wake up at 4.30 a.m. I look at the uh, market. I put in trades if I want to. And then I come back at 10 o'clock and see where they're at. And, you know, if I want to stay in, if I want to get out, where I'm at. So, And then yeah. there's, is there computer software that you have to know to read the charts to see what's yeah, trending? There is, yeah. There's different things that you can use. I personally use an application called MetaTrader 4 to submit my trades. That's how I enter in and out. And I use a, um, a website called TradingView, which is free. And um, TradingView allows you to um, look at the charts, mark them up. It gives you... Um, news it gives you pretty much everything that you need to know and then um i'm a member of lavish life academy so i can go to you know i and i enjoy going to the webinars and um you know looking at the analysis from other traders she's got a whole community um ruby has a whole community of traders we have like a group chat that we talk through so i'm never trading alone because i've got that community with me well, Stephanie, I'm so proud of you because you became your own boss. Thank you, You're yes. creating your own life. You got out of something that you were in for 15 years and you're doing something great and you have three children and a husband so you're yep. an inspiration to all the ladies and men out there that don't think they have the time or the energy or the know-how it's it's all available and thank you Stephanie Woodward. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on the show. And thank you to Ecomun Sutton DDS, our show sponsor today. Thanks. Bye.